Is that a spirit sword in your pants or are you just happy to see me? I can't believe I started with spirit sword on Eden. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Also, I can't believe that every re Eden run I've done recently happens to get spirit sword. What are the odds? What are the odds? Hell yeah. I've been looking for a fun run today and this is definitely gonna spell some fun for me. Rotten baby is also completely fine. I am loving it already. This run is gonna go to the heavens, I feel. Uh, might as well go to this curse room. Why wouldn't I? Sanguine bond, huh? Just chillin'. Sure. Okay, uh, decent start. Can you use the dull razor to damage boost through the curse room? You probably can, right? I should have tried it, obviously. But you probably can. And down we go. Yes, I could look for a secret room, but I only have a single bomb. I'm not confident in my abilities. We're out of here. Curse of the blind. Great. Dogtooth. I would have loved to have Lil Dumpy, but Dogtooth will do, I guess. Let's open this. A lucky penny. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I don't know why I'm so proud of that one. It's not even a good joke. It's not even like ironically funny either. It's just it's just bad. Oh yeah, I can't see items. Oh right, there's a crawl space in here. Hey, I found the right one right away. And of course it's got a mystery item that I do not know what it is. Alright, it's analog stick. I guess I can kind of like I can't really swing diagonally, but I can hold it diagonally for the spin, which makes no sense. Thank you, Rotten Baby, for doing that one, honestly. I I was very scared to attack, like I just didn't want to. Blub, I got bad news for you, buddy. You're not long for this world. Not when I start with damn spirit sword. Eye drops is cool. Um, I want angel deals, but I got sanguine bond. Uh, I don't have HP. Yeah, okay. That's like the flow chart. Moving on. Dross 2. HP still not looking that crazy, but I guess I have been getting hit quite a lot in unfortunate manners as well because of my uh, lack of range. That's kind of something that comes with Spirit Sword, unfortunately. It's it's the major downside. Who would have thought I don't have keys? It's pseudo boss challenge first, though. I just feel like that could. Oh, well, that solves my key issue. There we go. Farting baby or a mystery item, which is Lodestone. Interesting. I mean, it doesn't do much for me with. The sword itself, but the projectiles, I guess, will be affected by it. And he's dead. Just like that. No deal. That's unfortunate. Do I just let the friggin' blue flies take care of it here? Because I don't want to... I don't want to get close. Okay, thank you. And of course, we're going to continue down the old puff because uh, Spirit Sword is such a great item that I'm not even, like, worried. Ah, yeah, let's, let's go in here. Why not? I should try to do it. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I should try to, like, see if I can do a dull razor damage boost through the door. But at this point, I think I'm gonna swap it out for Jar of Flies, because I didn't use dull razor even once. At least Jar of Flies I can use. Not Jar of Flies, Jar of Wisps. Almost the same thing. There is a crawl space in this room. That's cruel. Okay, there it is. I found it. Uh, iron ingot. Iron bar. What is this, Minecraft? Can I can I get a few more of these and make, like, a... Make like a, bit, a piece of armor, maybe, perhaps? I need consumables. I have neither bombs nor keys, so I will actually fight this. Wow. Bountiful, bountiful harvest today. I mean, I don't have keys, so I'll gladly take the stars card. I don't want... I don't want that. I don't want razor blade. But I don't have keys, so I can't... Oh my god, bro. Does nobody see how messed up this is? Keys? Thank you. Bozo! Hell yeah. I'm very glad I got a key here. Very happy. Whoa! I need to get a key so I can grab that Bible and grab the rest of these books. And then probably roll Satanic Bible going forward. Because that is extraordinarily tempting. Hey, a key! Let's go! It's all coming up, baby! We're moving up in this in this bitch of an earth. Do I want to get a boss? Do I want to get a devil deal this floor? Sure, why not? Singe, huh? We meet again. Foul beast. I hate you so much. There is my angel deal. Right, I've already been in here. That's where my- Right, that's where I got my keepies from. Well, I don't really care about contract. <sighs> Actually, I do care about contract, but I also care about getting another- Getting another keypiece. Yeah, I'm gonna pass it up. It- it hurts to do, but I think I'm gonna pass it up. Do I want to do Mother with the sword? I don't think I do, I'll be honest. Mother really kind of do be a boss that you want to do, uh, from as far away as possible. So because I have the sword, I'm not gonna continue pursuing that. You know, despite everything, I feel like my damage output is kind of lacking a little bit. Oh, never mind. Okay, that solves everything. <laughs> oh, and sometimes you just have to say the magic words. And now my damage output will absolutely not be lacking. That's for sure. 
It was fine, don't get me wrong. I think the swing on the sword does like 3x your base damage, right? So I was doing like 15. Well, now I'm doing 30. That's uh, gonna help a little bit. And it is indeed Gideon. I'm just gonna use his Empress card. Yeah, being able to one-hit most enemies is probably gonna help a lot as well. Huge. Judas's Shadow. <sighs> I do want to get one more key piece, but Judas's Shadow is really good. Uh, I'll find other ways to get key pieces. Let's go... Yeah, let's go down the old path. Screw it. I might die, but that's fine, because I can just come back as Judas. I'm not too worried about that, and coming back as Judas is just gonna get me even more damage. It's gonna get me a friggin' 4x multiplier. I'm all for it. Yeah, whatever. I should probably be a bit more careful, though. But I've got 18 damage now, so... Who's the loser now? Also, look at this costume. Holy crap. I hate those guys so much, dude. I'm starting to remember why I don't like going to the old path. It's because I hate every enemy you meet here. They all suck. They're all assholes, man. Everything sucks. I don't want anemic. Ah, sure, I'll take multidimensional baby. That's... That's fine. What did I just say? Multidimensional baby, right? Yeah, that's what I definitely said. Uh, there's one more room up there. I might as well. I doubt it's gonna be of any use to me, but... Matter of fact, I'm more likely to lose HP in there just for going in there. Never mind. It's got Gamba, and I'm not I'm not gonna get anything out of it. I'm gonna blow up this whole friggin' joint here. Holy crap, that's so much money. These things were loaded, they were stocked. Hey. Hey. Hey, what the heck? These were all good. I can't believe that, like, the Gamba machine paid out and the items were all good. It's not like I really needed tears ups, but the, the Squeezy and Mr. Dolly are nice for the HP alone. Let's move on, though, and uh, get to this boss fight here, which is the Siren. He's going to get absolutely schmacked. There you go. Bloody Gust. A couple of items I do not care for. Starting to regret taking Judas' Shadow, maybe? Uh, yeah, just a bit. I'll take Bloody Gust, though. I could have taken Gimpy. I think Gimpy would have been fine to have, but... Whatever. Oh. Oh. I should just take Brother Bob if we can join. Wait, does Conjoint not even affect you? It makes you have three spins. Okay, well, what's the shop got for me? Oh, sorry, item room. I'll gladly take a botfly. Thank you very much. I guess this is the one downside with Spirit Sword, and the fact that I had it so recently probably plays into this as well. Where, like, it's a really good item, but because I've had it so much lately, I'm kind of getting a bit bored of it, because it doesn't have that many crazy synergies. That does ruin it a tad. But I guess it is easy mode. It just makes me go through the game without any problems or any hurdles at all, really. I can just run in and whack everything. Mom should not stand a chance. Even though I got hit uh, because I'm dumb, mostly. Let's go. I went. Where did I go? I went down yesterday, right? Let's go up today. I could do some sanguine bond shenanigans, or I could just grab money equals power and get even more damage, which is also completely fair. Like, I just got three damage, just like that, for having 12 coins. And it's only gonna get better from here on out, because it's not like I'm gonna spend a lot of the money that I get. I finally have some range as well, so I don't have to stand next to an explosion when it happens. You know what's something that's scary to think about? And I mean, I see a lot of discourse about this. I don't think about it myself all that much. I just see people talking about it a whole lot. Is, um... The, the rapid advancement lately of AI when it comes to creative applications. And I guess, like, a good way to intro the bit is to ask, like, do you reckon... Um, how long do you reckon it will take until we have like a fully AI generated video game? Like all the- everything about the game is AI made. Because we've got AI art, which was like a big deal last year, and obviously still is, people are scared about it. It's not really a true creative process and the AI can only really recreate what it has seen, so you still need to train it about art styles and shit like that. But it's still scary non nonetheless that it can create quite well looking, like quite, quite good looking, aesthetically pleasing art despite not even knowing how to, like, draw or anything like that. So that's quite scary. Then there's ChatGPT, which has made coding basically obsolete, at least in some ways. Obviously, it can't do everything, but it can do quite a lot. Music, uh, AI music is becoming a thing, too, to the point where uh, it's actually kind of scary how well it works already. Sorry, I just have to concentrate in that room. <laughs> and then, obviously, you've got the uh, AI voice stuff, right? Uh, you've, seen, you've seen the videos of Trump, Joe Biden, and Barack Obama playing Minecraft together. I could do hush. You know what? I should do hush. Let's just see what's in here. Uh, does, mom's, does mom's knife work with sword? It doesn't, right? I'll continue my bit in a second. I just gotta check this real quick, this is important. Oh, never mind, it does do something, okay. I should take it then. When I do the spin, it throws the sword out a bit. Let's do that then. It does, it does that. Yeah, that's extremely good. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, AI voices, right? 
So, like, I feel like we're getting to the point where there's a good chance that, like, almost... Because every, like, partially creative process of video game development has already been replaced with AI in some capacity. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a spin down right now. We're, we're probably gonna get to the point where almost, uh, like, everything about a game can be AI generated. The only thing that probably won't be AI generated is, well, just the ideas, right? What, whatever you can think of. Uh, just give me Cracked Orb. It's uh, scary to think about, isn't it? But it is It is uh, definitely a scary thing for people who have, uh, I don't know, dedicated their lives to, like, being an artist, being able to draw well and stuff like that, and then just having some dude be like, oh, I typed beautiful lady, big boobs, into a text box and uh, got got a beautiful image out of it as well. So it's a bit iffy. I wouldn't, I won't lie, I've dabbled with it myself, the technology, like, ex especially for image uh, generation. I've dabbled with it myself, like stable diffusion and stuff. It is really cool that it, like, exists and works and the technology is fascinating and it has crazy potential to be used for stuff, uh, for stuff like, say, uh, concept art iterations, right? I, I feel like it could be a great tool for actual artists to use in case they want to do sketches like have like a base they can work off of or for like concept art to get bigger faster concept art iterations or stuff like that going but having it like i've seen people say shit like oh it democratizes art what the fuck are you trying to do with democratizing art why does art need to be democratic just learn how to draw bro if you want to be able to draw just draw yourself it's really not that tough it just takes a bit of work by the way that was a pretty easy hush fight yeah i got hit a couple times whatever i got cancer it's not a big deal I don't know, would love your input on this. I know, like, people are kind of split on the AI art stuff. Most people are probably on the right side, which is, uh, yeah, it's kind of messed up, especially when you consider that people are being, like, models are being trained without people's consent and all that stuff. Like, that's the ethical, the next thing, right? Like, what I, I haven't even gone into that part yet. I haven't even gone into, like, the ethical problem of, yeah, you're, like, kind of, like, stealing people's art when you train the models on them, um, even though, yes, it's not directly recreating it. It's still kind of a kind of an ethical gray zone, I guess. But beyond that, obviously, the idea that you will probably start rendering certain jobs completely obsolete kind of scary. Kind of scary to think that that might be the way uh, things are gonna go in this in this world. <laughs> now, throwing the sword out for the spin is actually extremely powerful thanks to the mom's knife synergy. Now, if only I could have fought Mega Satan on this run. Oh well, at least I got Hush in, so. I guess that's the, uh, consolation prize there. Spin, spin, spin! Spin! That's actually one of the best mods I ever installed, man. What a, what a funny mod that is. Time to end Isaac's life. Uh, in Minecraft, obviously. He's dead. <laughs> that was a very fast... That was a very fast Isaac kill. Alright, what you got? Eh, whatever. Bro, these are all friggin' terrible. I'll take fruitcake. What the heck is this, man? I might as well play this judgment even though I have money equals power. Because, hey, you might pay out with something cool. You got an inverse judgment, which is also interesting. Eh, we could do better. Come on. We could do a bit better than that. I'll take SMB. I don't need sad onion. Alright, I guess I'll take mystery sack. Balls of steel is huge news. I love having my balls uh, turn into steel. That is great news. Do you know what? Let's use the emperor right now. Get this over with quickly. What the hell? What the hell's going on? Bro, what the fuck? Somebody was grabbing him with like a Gmod grab gun. What the hell? I'm gonna do the rest of the floor because there's a white portal. I guess you get some more items. This run can easily beat Delirium. I don't I don't doubt that. I might get hit a bit, uh, a bit, but like, who cares? Oh, wow. Flip just in the secret room like that, huh? Uh, you're a bit late because you will literally be useless to me now. You, you don't do anything for me anymore. Am I gonna scan the whole void? and see which one is Delirium. Nah, I'm just gonna go. Okay, this one isn't, so that's good on me. All right, sure, more damage. And it's mom's, It's the same boss again. I'm surprised I didn't stumble upon Delirium immediately. That's what usually happens when I go to the Void. The first boss room I enter is Delirium. If I get C-section now for like just the end of the run, that would be so huge. Because it's the only item, I'm pretty sure, the only tier effect that can override uh, Spirit Sword is c-section i would absolutely love that just having a bunch of babies flying around with little swords in them just spinning all over the place that would be so funny obviously i can't just like wish for it to happen it needs to actually happen and i have no control over that do you know what i feel like that one boss room that's been uncovered thanks to like me getting hit with um cracked orb i think that's delirium oh this one is delirium okay maybe not my idea was uh, completely and utterly disproven all those evil eyes are certainly doing work as well. Show yourself. Why are you so scared of, huh? Stop being mom. Just die like a man. 
You're dead. You're dead, kiddo. You're dead, kiddo. That was uh, a nice run. Love starting with Spirit Sword. It's just like my favorite item in the game, maybe. Ah, yeah, maybe. It's up there, for sure.